Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Hope that you worship in some way or another. Um, I went to church and man heard a message from the Lord this weekend that was really groundbreaking. Like I had one of those messages or the church had one of those messages that if I, I was like, if I listen to this message, if I put this into action, I can actually change my life around. It was one of those life changing, life changing sermons. Um, I'm not here to preach. I'm here to read the book, though. So I'm going to get into pray first. Hope that your prayer life is advancing and getting stronger. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes of this just to, you know, the goal. My goal was to, you know, strengthen my prayer life and find a spot where I'm actually not just praying the same thing all the time. So my church, which is Impact Church, it's this prayer guide called Pray First. I don't know what part this is, but I'll find out in the notes. So now we're going to talk about the prayer of Jezebel. All right. So this is just me reading. I'm not sharing much opinion, but hopefully that it's something you'll pick up. This isn't here to entertain you. This is here to educate you and strengthen you because men sharpen men, still sharpen still. So here we go. First Chronicles chapter four, verse 10. Jezebel cried out to the Lord of Israel. Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. I said Jezebel. Oh, man, this is a good example. That does not say Jezebel. That says Jabez. This is a good example how you used to reading the word so much that when you see something, you assume what it says. That says Jabez. So let's try this again. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel. Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. The prayer of Jabez is a helpful model of a prayer. And we can pray every day. Part one is the blessing. Jabez begins his prayer by asking God for his blessing. We need more of God's blessings to be better equipped to make a difference for his kingdom. We need more provision, more spiritual gifting, more wisdom, so that we can bless others with what God has given us. James chapter four, verse two through three tells us, you do, you do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. That you may spend what you get on your pleasures. God wants to bless us, but he, but he is often waiting for us to ask with the right heart. We have a big God and we can, we can be bold in asking for his blessings. As James points out, God sees our heart. And when we ask for blessings with motivation, not only to help others, but to help ourselves, this gets his attention. Now I'm asking God right now. I'm, I know I say I, I stick to the book, but I'm asking God to bless my channel, this YouTube channel, with over a thousand subscribers. I think I got, oh, I know I have 917 subscribers. I want to get to over a thousand. God bless this channel. We're not out here twerking. We're not out here getting high. We're not out here pulling out pulling out sticks, flashing poles. I'm just a dude that that came home from prison, fell in love with the Lord, fell in love with my wife, myself, my children, try and get this thing on track. So bring some people to this channel, Heavenly Father, that's struggling with, with something similar to mine, to know that we can overcome it through the blood. I've been through it all. The muck and my clay, and you pulled me out, dear God. So I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you bless this channel, heavily motivated, with plenty, plenty, plenty of subscribers. Let me get back to the book. Oh, that you would bless me. That's Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. Ask God for his blessing. Recognize your need for his provision and set your heart towards wanting more than you need so that you can be a blessing to others. The prayer that goes with it is, Father God, I pray that you will bless me with more than I need so that I can bless others. I pray for more provision that you would equip me with, gener with, ge with that you would equip me to give generously to others and meet their practical needs in your name. 
I ask you to give me greater spiritual gifts so that I can strengthen the church and be more effective for the kingdom of God. I pray for an abundance of wisdom and discernment so that I can point to point others to you and make decisions that honor you. Help me keep your generous blessings in perspective so that I never become self-serving, but stay focused on what you've given me to serve other people. Then influence, which part two is the influence. Next, Jabaz asked for more influence. As God's blessings, as God's blessing increase in our lives, we ask for and experience great opportunity to influence the world around us for him. God has the power to bless us greatly. He also has the power to open doors of opportunity for us to make a difference. We want to walk through the doors so we want to walk through doors that only God that only he can open. He responds when we specifically ask him to give us more influence under his name. Enlarge my territory. Dear God, let this YouTube channel be enlarged. Give me more people that can look at my testimony and understand that we do serve an awesome God, that it is possible. Pray. The verse is saying, enlarge my territory. It says, pray for more influence, knowing that God can make a way. Trust him to open doors that lead you to the best path of your life and for his glory. And here's the prayer. It says, God, make me effective in my sphere of influence and open new doors for me to be able to influence and reach even more people. Help me to be a good steward of responsibility, of the responsibility you have entrusted me. I pray for greater territory and impact for your glory. Section three is the presence. In order to have a lasting influence, we need God's presence in our lives. Through his power at, through his power at work within us, God can do more than we could ever ask or imagine. Ephesians 3.20 As we ask for blessings and influence, we also need to ask for his presence as Jabaz did so that we are not operating out of our own strength, but through the presence and the hand of our almighty God. The verse is saying, let your hand be with me. In humility, acknowledge your need for God's presence. Depend on him and ask for ask for more of him in your life today and here's the prayer it says lord i know that without you i am nothing i cannot do what you've called me to do on my own i am desperate for your presence in my life i depend on you completely i realize that the same spirit who raised christ jesus from the dead lives within me through your power through the power of your spirit i pray that you will help me succeed in the opportunities that you have given me. Thank you for being with me. I would never want to face today without you. Then Jabaz asked for protection. That's part four. Finally, Jabaz asked the Lord to protect him. If we are influencing, influencing the world for Jesus, we must understand that the enemy will try to stop us. This leads us to pray that God will not only help us, if the enemy attacks, but, it, but that he will protect us from the enemy attacking us in the first place. Jesus had already won the victory, so we don't need to fear destruction. God promises to be with us and to protect us. And because he is with us, we have nothing for, to fear. And Jabaz says, keep me from harm. Trust God to protect you. Tell him specific areas where you feel the need for his protection and ask him to cover areas that you can't see here's the prayer god as i walk out the purpose you have for my life i pray that you will stop any and every attack of the enemy against me please protect my body my mind and my emotions don't let the enemy get a foothold in my life i pray too that you will protect my family and my community from harm i know that the one who is in me is greater than the one who is in the world so I have nothing to fear. Thank you for watching over me. I love you and I trust you. Nine minutes in. Thank y'all for tuning in. Stay heavily motivated. Um, that's the prayer of Jabez from First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. This is not my book. This is a book from the church I worship at, Impact Church in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm just going over this, strengthening my prayer life.
hopefully, hopefully you find something in here to strengthen yours. And I tell you, boy, it's so funny. I done lost viewers since I've been pressing for this Lord. I lost a couple subscribers, but they wasn't with me for the right reason. I want people that's got to realize that if we press into the Lord, that he's going to bless us and that the, the world isn't really for us. And, you know, we can't do this alone. Just look around in society. But y'all stay heavily motivated, stay humble, stand up for something. Peace.